Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're taking a look at this amazing Angelfish Aquarium. A few weeks ago I was in Germany visiting my good friend Juris. If you don't know who he is, I'll leave his YouTube channel in the video description. We spent the day visiting some of his customers and this Angelfish Aquarium is the largest client tank he has ever done. The aquarium is situated on the second floor in a beautiful luxury home and is separating the living room from the dining area. This tank is measuring 3 meters from left to right 80 cm front to back and 120 cm tall. So the total volume is roughly 2800 liters or 700 US gallons. Fun fact, this aquarium is built by a German aquarium company called Emmel. And back in the day, Emmel used to make aquariums for Takashi Amano. Now let's talk about these angelfish, because these guys are not your average angelfish. They are called Vichada Red Spot Autumn Angelfish and they are wild caught. So the Vichada River is a river in Colombia and that's where these angelfish are found. At the moment they are just over one year old, which means they are not fully grown just yet. But a fully grown autumn angel can be close to 15 inches or 38 centimeters tall. Another fun fact, because these angelfish are quite rare and also wild caught, they come with a pretty hefty price tag. Just one angelfish is roughly 200 euros. Besides the angelfish, we also have a large group of Ramino Stetras, Sturby Corys, Apisogramma Hongsloy, and some Otto Sinkless Algae Edis. Yuris also likes to add a lot of Clayton snails to his customer aquariums because they are very good at eating algae and do not reproduce in the aquarium. The hardscape in this aquarium consists of large Frodo stones and Manzanita branches. If you want to see how Yuris climbed inside this aquarium to escape it, make sure you head over to his YouTube channel. What's also very impressive is the filtration of this aquarium and all the filtration is happening on the ground floor. So all the space below the aquarium is actually empty besides a few drain pipes. So on the ground floor is an entire room dedicated to the filtration of this aquarium. And pretty much everything is automated. Because of this, Yuri's only has to come here once a week just to clean the glass, feed the fish and check if everything is running smoothly. I really like the plants that were used in this layout. Most of them are cryptocorin. So for example, in the center we have the cryptocorin balancea with these tall curly leaves. And we also have these large clumps of cryptocorin venditiae compact. This bright green plant looks a lot like Anubius, but it's actually called schismatologitis. And the main difference is that this plant can be planted in a substrate which is something you can't really do with Anubias. 